if my V chain car kind of times the market in just the right way, then maybe we stand a chance. And look at that, number two out of 92, but that's the funny thing. Now I'm number one out of 92, and it looks like the Waves is actually performing. So VeChain at 5% along with Ethereum, but I have Waves leveraged at 90% with two times leverage. It looks like I'm running away with this one. With six seconds left, I'm first out of 92. You likely already know that you can make anywhere from two to $5,000 per month by playing Axie Infinity. But what if I told you there's a game out there that can earn you upwards of $10,000 per month for the same amount of invested time? That is exactly what this video is about. We've broken down the numbers very analytically, very quantitatively. We'll let you know how it's possible with IOI and Trade Race Manager. Stay tuned. And of course, if you like this kind of content, be sure to like, subscribe to Altcoin Buzz, and hit the bell, that way you never miss a future video. But before we deep dive into this particular project, allow me to introduce myself. I am Maddie, and we are Altcoin Buzz, a crypto investment and research company. We've been making millionaires since 2017, and that's because we've been strategic early investors in some of your favorite projects, such as Ethereum, Binance, Cardano, Crypto.com, Engine, Matic Network, Chili's, Quant Network, Polkadot, Uniswap, and many other 100 times projects that have blown up in recent months and years. As always with this kind of content, this video does not represent financial advice. I am not an accredited financial advisor. I would never dream to advise you in any financial or investment capacity, and that's not what we're doing here. This is strictly a video about a project that we've identified that we're enthusiastic about. Do with that information what you will, but none of this is financial advice. So there are a lot of games out there in the cryptocurrency space. From my perspective, it comes down to whether or not they're worthwhile as far as pursuing. And what's getting all the rage right now in terms of buzz is Axie Infinity. But according to our research, there's actually not a whole lot of meat on the bones. You could make a couple thousand dollars per month, but that represents sort of a standardized number of hours that you've invested into that project. Take the same number of hours and invest them into Trade Race Manager, which is the focus of today's video. And we found that you can double, triple, even quintuple your revenue. So go from about $2,000 all the way up to potentially $10,000. This gives you much more bang for your buck in terms of the time you're investing into the gameplay. And we'll give you guys some tips and tricks and maybe even some hacks so you really know what you're doing when you enter this ecosystem and you can therefore hit the ground running. We are also genuinely excited to find a game that provides these kinds of rewards. It's something that we're excited about and we're gonna break down the reasons as to why that is. So we're discussing in today's video, Trade Race Manager. That is really at the heart of the IOI ecosystem. More on that in just a moment. But what exactly is IOI and what is Trade Race Manager? If you're hearing these names for the first time, here's a breakdown of what this game is all about. It is a car racing game. However, the twist is that you fuel your car with cryptocurrency. But this really is basically a play to earn game. And we're approaching this from the perspective of a business. If you're playing a game specifically with the intent to earn money, maybe you pick it up once in a while, maybe you do it casually, but if you're really serious about it, just as you would be very serious about a business, you have to look at it from an investment perspective. In any business, there are startup costs, there are sunk costs that you may or may not be able to recoup, but there is a certain investment threshold whereby you put money into the business, you spend money to make money. And we've embodied that approach to the best of our ability by availing ourselves of some of the advantages in this game. And those take the form of NFT vehicles, NFT vehicles that give you an advantage, not in terms of being able to win any particular race, but in terms of maximizing those rewards for the races in which you participate. And that's been a very important differentiating factor for us and a very important competitive advantage against those other racers out there. This is a game that gets pretty deep because as you can see on screen right here, there are a number of different races that vary in terms of their frequency. You have different levels of tournaments, you have different levels of quick and ready races. And the more frequent a race occurs, the more frequently it occurs, a free race, for example, as you can see right here, this is the kind of thing that will launch every couple of minutes and the reward level is commensurate with how frequent those races are. So a free race, for example, 
Yes, it will be happening every couple of minutes, and so it's very accessible, but the reward is a little bit less kind of for that reason. Whereas as you go down the list, you have more and more, or I should say less frequent races whose rewards are gonna represent something a little bit higher, a little bit more exclusive as a result of being the winner of those less frequent events. As shown here, you can choose from 20 different cryptocurrencies to use as fuel for your vehicle. You can either short them or long them, and you can even add leverage. And all of these coins and tokens are tied to real-time exchange rates. Okay, so the race is just about to start here. We have 167 participants. Make that 172. So far, it looks like I was able to crack 37 there out of that number. Oh, all the way to number 14. Not too bad, number 17 now. 15 seconds to go. I'd be very happy if I come out of this with a top 10 finish. That's not too bad. Number five, number eight, here we go. All right, here we go, here we go. Number eight, if I can sustain this. Six seconds left, eight, 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 eight. I want that top 10, I want that top 10 finish. Two, one. Oh, it looks like I just slipped out of the top 10. Race has ended, what's my highest finish here? Oh my God, I'm nervous. Oh man, I just slipped out of the top 10 at the last second. Let's first glance at the marketplace here. This is where you can select and peruse and buy different NFTs. So you can see the ranks here from special to uh, all kinds of you know more common vehicles to rare and to legendary vehicles as well. And never financial advice, but the more cars you own and the more cars you can deploy into races for a maximum of four, the better your odds of winning. For example, let's say there are 100 racers in a game. If you own any one vehicle and you're placing any one bet on the movement of the market, well, all else being equal, you stand a one in 100 chance of winning or 1%. But let's say you make multiple bets, i.e. you hedge your bets and you deploy four vehicles into that particular race of 100 racers. Well, now you have a four out of 100 chance of winning. Maybe technically you'd have a four out of 104 chance of winning, of course, because you're adding vehicles to the race. But you guys understand what I'm trying to suggest. So for simplification, you get the idea. Uh, you're taking your odds from 1% and pushing them all the way up to 4%. So you're quadrupling, in effect, your chance of winning. But in a nutshell, and if you're willing to spend a little bit of money here, this is our winning strategy as far as we've been able to deduce. Go to the marketplace, which you can see on screen right now, and spend about 10,400 IOI on a particular set of NFT vehicles. Buy four of them overall, and then deploy them into the races. Here's our rationale. Here we have a 60-day projection of your potential earning with both Trade Race Manager in terms of IOI revenue and with Axie Infinity. Now we've broken this down with corresponding multipliers all the way from day one to day 60. And that includes some break even points. We're basing this on the current exchange rates, $1.33 per IOI. So this is actually a very conservative estimate because in fact, as we saw earlier, IOI is closer to about $1.65 at the time of this recording. SLP, Smooth Love Potion, sitting at about 18.4 cents currently. Okay, let's start from the top and you'll see that with IOI, we have four columns here. So it really depends on how you want to go about your gameplay. But our recommendation is that you invest in this in just the same way that you'd invest in a small business. So all of these payouts are based on the assumption that you're racing with four cars, not one, not two, not three, but four vehicles. Therefore, you're increasing the number of chances you have at winning. And over the course of multiple 10 minute races, which don't forget have the higher payouts, the chances are that over time you'll get third place, second place, and first place. Not every time, not even most of the time, but some of the time. And we've also broken it down into anticipated earnings if you own four common NFTs, four super NFTs, four epic NFTs, and four legendary NFTs. Now from least to most expensive, that's how we've listed them, 2,400 IOI, about $3,000 at the time of this recording, which is not, inexpensive but again this is the small business mentality we feel that we have to invest we have to spend money in order to make money all the way up to 10,400 IOI that's going to be about 13,500 almost $14,000 so this is also based on the assumption that you're playing trade race manager for eight hours a day 
and consecutively. You have to be able to play consecutively day after day after day in order to hit the multipliers. We'll get to that in a second. And here on the flip side of things, you have Axie Infinity with these assumptions. If you have three to nine axes, that's anywhere from 900 to about $2,700. 10 to 19 axes, that's 3,000 to about $5,700. And over 20 axes is over $6,000. The numbers below here are in SLP, again, Smooth Love Potion, also playing for up to eight hours per day. So that's an important distinction. Remember here that these numbers on the right are in SLP, and these numbers on the left are in IOI. Let's look at the case for IOI. On day one, as you can see here, we start with 16 IOI that are rewarded to us if we stick to four common NFTs. And you can earn as much as 80 if you use four legendary NFTs. So there's a big discrepancy there. Discrepancy rather, you're earning almost four times as much. Now, all we've done here is added 16 every day. So we start with 16. We figure that's a relatively conservative estimate as to how much you can earn. So 16 on day one, another 16 on day two brings us to 32, another 16 on day three, and so on and so on and so on. Here, uh, on the other side of the spectrum, we have the same logic. We start with 80 on day one. We're adding 80 each day, each day, each day, until we get to about here. At day number 10, a 1.5 times multiplier kicks in, so you're earning 10 times more. So instead of adding 16 every day, we're actually adding 24 for the lowest rung here for four common NFTs. And at the highest rung with four legendary NFTs, as you can see, instead of adding 80 every day, it's 1.5 times 80. So we're adding 120 IOI every day. Now these multipliers are important. And again, they only kick in if you play consecutively. So the importance of consecutive gameplay, logging in every day, checking off those boxes, making sure you show up, being consistent, being perseverant, that really is a crucial part of your strategy here. Day number 20, that multiplier goes up by times two. So on the low end here, instead of earning 16, you're earning 32. With four supers, instead of earning 24, you're earning 48. With four epics, instead of earning 40, you're earning 80. And instead of earning 80 with four legendary here, you're earning times two, that's 160. The multipliers keep moving. As you can see, uh, day 30, you hit a three times multiplier, a multiplier, so that's 48, three times 16 for four commons. If you own four epic NFTs, you're earning three times 40, so you're earning now 120 every day. And here with four legendary NFTs, you're earning an astounding 240 per day. So let's scroll down, and as you can see, if you've invested here four legendary, in rather, in four legendary NFTs, you've invested about 10,400 IOI. If we assume that this is correct, you'll see that we actually break even on day 58. So inside of two months, you break even. It's a little bit different for the commons and the supers and the epic NFTs. And that's just because the reward scales kind of the more you invest in this, the more your potential rewards are gonna be and the more you can really rake it in. So you still actually break even here on day 66 with four common NFTs. Again, the cost of that is 2,400 IOI. So you're at 2,480 IOI on day 66. Day 70 is where you break even for four super NFTs. And day 68 is where you break even with four epic NFTs. But again, you're breaking even with four legendary on day 58. And then everything after that is gravy. So taking a look at the numbers here, I wanna direct your attention to these colored cells right here. You can see that actually initially, you're investing a little bit more with Trade Race Manager and IOI. So you're investing here 3,192 for those four times uh, common NFTs. This includes two months of staking. A little over 5,000 here for four supers, eight and a half thousand for four epics, and nearly 14,000 for four legendaries. This is at a price of $1.33. So with Axie Infinity, the investment is actually quite a bit less. It's, uh, it's actually noticeably less. But check this out. As of the two-month income mark, this is what's really important. This is where you pull ahead. So $1,915 versus $1,270 for comparable investment and comparable time spent. That's at the lowest level. $2,873 versus $1,766. And then let's take a look at, uh, I guess, four epics and compare that to 20 plus axes. 4,788 versus 20, 2,200. That's the second month income. And the total income, as you can see here, is quite a bit more substantial. And again, 
You break even after about two months, a little bit more if you downgrade your NFTs, but at the higher end, you break even sooner inside of two months at day 58. So your total income here is commensurate with that. You're earning a lot of money. And this is actually an outdated IOI exchange rate price. Let's plug in the current value, which is about $1.65. And you can see that the numbers actually jump quite substantially. So again, I've kind of alluded to this over the course of the video, but the more the price of IOI goes up, the more your earnings correspondingly go up, the more the value of your held NFTs goes up. You can always sell those in the future if you so choose. And we haven't really bothered to extrapolate much beyond two months and 70 days or so, but I mean, you know, you can imagine if you keep playing this for three months, four months, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 months, for a year, for a couple of years, uh, very, very quickly this begins to snowball and you could seriously be earning a lot of money and the numbers certainly speak for themselves. So if this is the kind of activity that you enjoy, it can be a little bit of a grind playing every day. And I understand that it's not everybody's cup of tea, but if it's the kind of thing you enjoy anyway, and if you're a connoisseur, if you're collectible of NFTs and you want to kind of gamify that experience, this is a great game, number one, and a great opportunity to make money. Okay, we're gonna consider this race now in a bit of a different context. You can see that there are 113 racers. Okay, we're at number 16. Not a bad start. You can always hover over the first place racer and get a sense of, okay, what's working for them? What is it that they're doing? In this case, it looks like they're uh, betting on, it keeps changing, but here we have Cardano, VeChain, and Polygon. Okay, we're at number 17 right now with this particular arrangement. Not too bad, five seconds left. I don't know if we can crack the top 10, but 17 out of 113, it's not terrible. But again, you can always go and see as far as what the winning strategy was, in this case, 90% longing Cardano, 5% VeChain, 5% Matic. So it's not to say that you can replicate that and use it in the next race, because again, markets are dynamic and the next set of winning conditions are gonna be different, but just interesting to kind of hover over other racers, other players, and get a sense of what's working for them, even if only at the level of allocations. So in that case, the winning strategy was a 90% allocation, a long two times leveraged allocation, and then a five and five. Again, that strategy of 90% either long or short on a given project, two times leverage, and then allocating 5% and 5% to two other projects. You gotta get a little bit lucky, but that tends to be the winning formula. Again, if you happen to hit the right project at the right time. I wanna explain what some of these icons mean here because these are indicators as to what's hot, what is a premium fuel, and if you're privy to that information, it does give you an advantage. So premium fuel, that's the crown icon. You can see that here, for example, on XLM USDT. This represents which cryptos are most volatile currently, and by reasonable extension, that suggests which ones are most likely to win upcoming races in the short term. Of course, these change all the time. So this is a very, very useful indicator. Then you also have the racer tip of the day. So this is from the team manager, which cryptos he or she recommends. It's up to him or her how often they update this. So it's good if there are updates and the more updates and the more frequent they are, the better. 10 minute races are that second level of frequency that we discussed. These differ from the two minute races. The prize pool for a two minute race is kind of modest, 0.28 IOI. Whereas a 10 minute race has a higher reward pool. A 10 minute reward race offers 10 IOI in terms of the total prize pool. So at the time of this recording, it's not a huge amount. It's about 16 and a half dollars. But again, that's with the current price of IOI. Assuming that it goes up with time, then you're gonna have correspondingly the value of the prize pool, which will also increase. So let's take a look at some of the rewards here. If you land in first position, for example, you can see that for a non-NFT vehicle, you'll be scoring 0.1 IOI. But take a look at the progression here. If you have a common vehicle, you're getting one IOI. So that's 10 times more for just that first level of NFT inclusion. If you have a common rare vehicle, 1.5 IOI, a super vehicle, that's two IOI, a super rare vehicle, that's three IOI. Epic is four, Epic Rare, which is the Midas NFT that we showcased earlier, you're getting six IOI. So that is 60 times more for the same finishing position, first place, 60 times more than you would be getting for a non-NFT vehicle for the same position finish. This is where the NFT 
strategy um, is really starting to become apparent because like any business, again, you have to invest a little bit of upfront capital in order to generate revenue, in order to make money. And if this is at all the kind of thing that you enjoy doing, if you at all believe in pay to play games, this is actually a model that can really work. For more information on cars and on the different tiers of vehicles that you can acquire here in terms of those NFT acquisitions, I'd check this out. Again, you have correspondingly the prize money and the different bonuses that are allotted for using whether they're common NFTs, non-NFTs, or more rare NFT vehicles. Again, not financial advice, but that is our recommendation. Invest a little bit in at least a couple of NFTs if you're serious about this game. That's where the payoff is most pronounced. It seems that more and more people are getting into this gaming ecosystem because over the course of the last week or so, we've really seen some very, very positive price action on the part of the IOI token. At the time of this recording, it currently sits at $1.66. So it's seen some very nice appreciation as of late. Now that you guys have a sense of what's possible with IOI and Trade Race Manager, let's discuss our final impressions. First of all, for those that are completely new to the cryptocurrency space, this game actually does a great job of providing the right motivators for those individuals to learn the basics. How to set up a wallet, for example, how to value different cryptocurrencies and how exchanges work. So this really does present a great on-ramp for that more casual kind of crypto agnostic online gamer. It's also an exciting way to enter the booming world of NFTs, non-fungible tokens. If you're serious about it, make a lot of money, potentially a lot more money than you're already making by playing a video game, whether full-time or part-time. It's all about strategy though, and it's about treating it like a business, treating it as your own small business. And you know, jobs and success and making money and making a living, all of this represents different things to different people. But if you're at all interested in pursuing this, if only for the reason that it's gonna free up more of your time, maybe you can get after those hobbies that you're interested in, maybe you can spend more time with the family, with the children, maybe you can travel more, you can be less reliant on your current employer, maybe you love your current employer and this is just the kind of thing you wanna do part-time to earn extra passive income. That's the beauty of this, there are a lot of different options. If you guys choose to pursue some of those options, I wish you all the very best of luck. Once again, none of this is financial advice, but I hope you do very, very well if you embark on a new racing career with IOI and Trade Race Manager. Best of luck, members of the Altcoin Buzz Army, if you choose to invest. Be sure to like, subscribe, share if you enjoyed this video. Also, click the bell to receive notifications. Stay safe, and as always, we do hope to see you again soon in our next video. Take care.